Again it is Twisted Meadows, apparently quite popular today. So in the top left, going for the Rock Golem Creep, especially in this position where it's the easiest to execute. This is pretty predictable. So Lolliet should probably be scouting for it. Oh! Wait. Lolliet with a big creep as well. Going for the Merc Camp first. So Lolliet might be thinking the blade is going to be very busy at the start doing the Rock Golem creep. So he can just do the Rock Golem creep himself and he's going to get two items and level two. Unlike the blade, he's only going to get 120 experience from only the big Rock Golem creep himself. Clean creep so far by Lolliet as always. And he's not even using any wisps to mess with this block here either. I mean, with this pull here at all. Big involve and cloak for the demon. Not too bad. Oh, and boots of quelter love. There we go. That's exactly what Soin wanted. This blade could end up very stacked. Evasion first, by the way. Earlier against the MK, Lawlight didn't go mana burn. It was just evasion and simulation. Let's see what he's gonna choose here in a moment. Meets the demon, goes for the burn. I mean, meets the blade. And actually cancel the heal selves there during the wind walk. It's kind of annoying for Soen. Now he's still hurt, has to use another heal self. But this blade is shaping up to be quite strong already. He's gonna have 8 bonus agi, maybe even more here with the slippers. Just a ring. Someone is hunting items. Ring of superiority now. Used a lot of mana already. But I don't mind that at all. Considering he's up against the demon hunter. He's not going to have much mana anyways. All right. Running around. Looking for his opponent. Goes for the circlet. Goes for the boots. But good movement so far by Soen. Completely evading the demon hunter oftentimes. Oh, and all I didn't check the corner green. So it's a ton of experience indeed for Soen and Lolide, kind of running into nowhere. Maybe the Wisp positioning next to the creeps could have been a bit better. Now Lolide feels like he needs to creep a bit himself, can't just waste his time creeping nothing. And look at the blade, almost level 3 already, with a ton of rings. Yeah, I feel like having rings at the slippers camp <laughs> is a bit too much. It's a bit too many rings. IMO. But Lolite also you doing good. Simultaneous creeping here. Is he gonna spot? Oh, first opportunity for a big play for Lolite. But no, he doesn't check the shop here during nighttime. For once, it's working against the night elves at the nighttime. Pretty bad items for the blade all around. I mean, the Quathala's boots at the start were amazing, but after that it was ring, 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 and um, rune bracers. Wait, it's not even a wall off. Well, I'd failed the wall off build. Ooh, that's a beginner mistake. Starting now an expansion. Now the blade is trapped. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he can't get out. He literally can't get out. Was that an intentional trap? That would be so genius. You can only get out during daytime. During daytime, the Zeppelin becomes available, and you can buy a TP to get him out. <laughs> I 
He can make it expensive though. He can force a lot of repair. Quick level two for the shadow. <laughs> this is like so cold against Moon back in WCG. <laughs> it's pretty weird. Alright, staff in. Oh, that's right, we got the hawk for detection. <laughs> I guess the, the blade is just dead. It's gonna take a while to kill him, though. Alright, so in, going for the expansion, and so is Lawline. Oh, it's going tier 3, and now with the Ancients of Wind. The talent strat is not quite dead yet, dead yet folks. <laughs> it's taking forever to kill this guy. Alright, there we go. I feel like this isn't even the worst for Soen I, honestly. Like, it took Lawlight forever to get this big master kill. There we go. Gets it at long last. I think ideally Stone should have gone for a Great Hall first at the expansion. Knowing that the Blade Master was gonna buy so much time, I think going for the Burrow first was a mistake. Oh. running across the map by himself, a bit scary. This could possibly cost him the TP. But he's very speedy with those boots. Hex, which means there's no heat wave. Doesn't want to burn the big invuln. Wise decision. Use the TP, and now the expansion for all light is up. He's got the talons coming. I think it's only adept training, though, right? Yeah. Okay. So still takes a while until he's got a master. for the beast master that's also valuable level two quill beasts now available oh big red can bite him what's it gonna be what's it gonna be that guy's gem of health that is terrible since the blade is gonna be cycloned all the time anyways it's hard to imagine this would be useful Right, this could be a nice long game, folks. Two base, two base. We're towering up a bit. And if you're playing Orc in the late game against Talons, without walkers, that normally means you have to base lane. Normally, without walkers, you can't actually fight. And we see Pillage coming already. Shouldn't surprise you us. Oh, there's still a window to get the cancel. Oh, a Great Hall cancel here would be absolutely huge. Is there enough time? Is there enough time? Is there enough time? Pocket Factory. Team Hunter needs to right click as well. Oh, there is enough time. There's just barely enough time for the Great Hall cancel, and that is devastating for focus. So, and he didn't have time to cancel the uh, Cyclone upgrade either. And it's a two and a half minute delay on the expo. That hurts. But maybe Soen can snipe the expansion. He's got not that many raiders actually. Lawlight so far playing this very well indeed. 
Going for Hunter's Hope. Possibly just for some upgrades. Ultra Vision, Wellspring. Very good. Or he wants to actually transition. Alright, next red cam item. What's it this time? All of Darkness. That's a bit better. But also not the best. Thank you, by the way, Moberg, with the first time sub. Welcome. Lawlight expanding, top right. Expansions sprouting up everywhere for the Night Elf, as we've seen so many times before on Twisted. It would look like Lawlight certainly has a lead in this game. Still getting stronger on the heroes. Belt of Giant Strength here found. Not too bad. Tanking up those heroes on the Night Elf side is very valuable. On the Orc side, not so much, because they'll just accept it. I love the Shredder here for Lawlight as well. Buys the Shredder, staffs him back, gets to work right away. It's gonna be a ton of lumber for Lawlight. The Skellies are actually very good for scouting. That's something I didn't respect enough. Especially on a big map like Twisted, Skelly scouting is really good. But you also need to actually send it in range. Alright now, going for the big attack. So he is not yet in a position to counter attack. He finds the tree, he's gonna get the castle there. But he's, wait. He will have to TP back, right? Can't just lose the main base. Alright, here's the TP. Ten supply lead for Lawlight while playing talents. I mean he had to TP, but. This looks like an impossible fight for Soin. Maybe with the Burrows he has a chance. Oh, Invul Potion Pop. Beast Mode enabled on the Blade Master. What the kill he's gonna go for? Only a Talon so far. Of course, the problem with the Shaman is there's very little of this spell only. There's only a handful of the spells to use against the Cyclone, and we have so much. Hello? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay. Did the game just crash? No, okay, we're back. Alright. Thank you. All good. Nothing happened. Maybe so and try to pull the cable out and ask for a regame. Whoa, what is going on? <laughs> um, something seems to be bugging on the Chinese production side. Something that I can definitely relate with, definitely sympathize with. We've been there before ourselves. All right. Um, the overlay is gone, but we can still see that Lawlight has a big army, strong heroes. The entire orc army here looking very hurt indeed. First expansion for Lawlight is up. I think he's going for a second one on the left hand side. Is keeping the pressure up. Of course, talents are pretty bad at destroying buildings. But that's what the tinkers there for. The pocket factory and Tinker level three would be a significant upgrade as well. I don't know if he's close to that though. Of 
here. This is quite expensive to keep this main base alive, but there's still lots of resources on, so TP home again. Trying to defend. But the army is still not looking that impressive. It's making mass moon wells! Oh, 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 oh. Now that looks a little BM. <laughs> it's not useless! All I with some spicy plays today. Tree of Lives would be BM. Moonwells only semi BM. Speaking of BM, Beastmaster in trouble over here. Might be going down. Is he willing to sacrifice the first hero? Oh, rockets coming in as well. The Blade Master, I mean Beastmaster, does die. But I think that was still a good trade for Lawlight. He's got so many resources. And he almost has the surround. Oh, could have closed it. Tinker Rockets again. The Moonwells helping out. So it isn't dead yet. Where are the Chimroos? Ah, there they are. Yep. Yep, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> With that, it looks like one. Yeah, the first map is gonna go to Walleye indeed. No repair anymore. Stronghold goes down. And it kind of looks like both are disconnected. There was a lot of talents going down. Walleye, of course, on four bases. He can. Afford plenty of losses. In time, Solon will know the tragic extent of his failings. Where's the beast master, by the way? Funny thing is, once he gets chimps, he still can't really deal with circuit boards. Those circuit boards are always strong against Night Elf, as we know. Maybe Sony can break out of this position. Oh, but now the amount could get it in a burn. The amount really needs to start burning. He's attacking his own Berserker. Did you see that? Get back into low upkeep, I guess. <laughs> this game is starting to get weird. Late level 5. Is he throwing this game right now? Where's the cyclone? Bro, where's the cyclone? Spam that cyclone! Jesus Christ, Team Hunter goes down! Dude, what is going on? Lolite, what are you doing? And now it's just serving more against Talons. Someone's gonna have double level 6 heroes soon. <laughs> Jim's gonna caught. <laughs> Now, all I said is four bases, and still has a thousand gold, so that has to be said as well. Maybe the light is just enjoying this game and just wants to extend it a bit. But look at dude, look at the serpent words. Level three serpent words are insane. These best are level five, but nobody cares, bro. Look at that serpent word damage. Holy hell. Alright. And with that, so it kind of breaks the contain after losing the main. Alright, what do we do now? Tim Roos again, hell yeah. Let's make more. More Tim Roos, more! Lola wants to break the record for most Tim Roos in one game. 
with these five and the two we had before, it's going to be seven Chimrus this game. Alright. Demon TPing back just for fun. Oh no, that's a staff. Well, that looks like he's toying with his food this game. Just wants to give... So in a sprinkle, a taste of hope before he snuffs it out. This is the true beast master. He's got one of each summon. He's got the bear, he's got the hog, he's got the quill beast. That costs a lot of mana. Someone getting cornered. Does he have a TP? No, he does not. That's all the second. Big Chris as well. Oh, but look at the rockets! They almost got the kill. Oh. Shadowhunter seems to be trapped there thanks to his own Serpent Ward. He goes down. So does the blade. And the game is finally over. GG is called Lolli, the winner of the first map. That's his third map win in a row today. And now he's one map away from the upper bracket final. No, wait. He's already in the upper bracket final. From the next round. From the playoffs. If he wins here in first place, he's going to have the better seed into the playoffs where he'll be facing a second place finisher from one of the other groups and uh, Lolai doing it in style today as well he's always been known to be a bit of a prankster and he's certainly reinforcing that reputation today but oftentimes also Twisted Meadows a, made, a map made for these weird kind of games for these wonky kinds of games Next map coming up is going to be Soin's pick, and that is Turtle Rock, which is not exactly a very straightforward map either. It's also pretty big, not as big, of course, as Twisted, but lots of opportunity for shenanigans there as well, and perhaps slightly unusual play. Do you still play Demon Hunter there nowadays with the weaker immolation, or do you rather go Keeper? That's something that I don't have a clear answer for, because if you don't go Immolation on Turtle Rock, then your creep options as Night Elf early game are very, very limited. With a Keeper, it's a different story. Of course, you can go Immolation, but it's not as efficient anymore as it used to be. Our game should be starting in a moment. Is Lolite pay perhaps taking today a bit too joyfully? Is he having a bit too much fun? Is this something that someone can still punish? Or will we see a very convincing first place Lawlight here in this group? Let's take a look, have a little gander as we move to map two. Lawlight in the bottom right. So in the top right. Both spawning on the same lane. The ward will be especially important. And it is the Keeper this time. Understandable, like I said. Without Keeper, it's hard to creep here with the Demoners. Nerfed emulation nowadays. <laughs> and that should mean Talons again, right? If you try expansion play on this map, you can get punished 
ultra hard. It's possible to do it with Keeper and Hunts, but only, I would say, if the Orc isn't on top of things. So I'm being a bit annoying here with the peon pull. That has also become, of course, very standard. Especially against Night Elf. We see an early hunter's hall by Law Lions. So, really? Just a normal hunter's build, possibly. Interesting. to make use of these circlets and perhaps more importantly doesn't want to give it away to the blade keeper got the slippers blade got the mantle they both got what the enemy covets and we're gonna see a fast level two on both sides Mantle now for the keeper. It's not bad at all. Plus five intelligence on the night of first hero. But we can see the orc tech is far ahead, as it's supposed to be when playing hunts. Perhaps full mana, and it's the first blood. Archer going down. Being replaced now with a more sturdy Huntresses. The keeper's running across the map. What's his plan? Very interesting. What's the idea here, Lolai? He knew where the blade was. Is he just trying to hunt down peons? Wait, is he trying to make a hole for APs? Oh, Sneaky! We've seen this before, and it almost looked like Soi was scouting for it. Oh, this is gonna be hard to read. Lawlight with some sneaky, sneaky plays. At the start, though, the AP will only be able to attack the altar, which isn't that big of a deal. Blade. Didn't really get the best items here. Shop going down. But so should be able to remake it easily in the back. And he is. He's also making a war mill. Very important. Once the AP is up, you really want to have that demolish. Damage against the altar. Could that be enough? So it has to repair. Cannot afford to lose the Shadow Hunter. Wait, he's not repairing though. Blade's level 3, but the shadow doesn't see the light of day. Ooh. Oh, that's a problem. Perhaps so, and played too passively here at the start. Lost the altar. It's something we almost never see happen. Law Lion with some really tricky plays here. And now the AP is gonna root. There's no Hex, there's no Shadow Hunter, there's no second hero. And I think because there's no Altar... Um, so I also can't go for a Tavern hero, right? Okay. Alright, but here's the Demolisher. That has to be the saving grace now. Lolaid isn't even fully committing to this attack. As we can see, he's going Tier 3, he's going Talons. So it's going to be stuck on single hero for so damn long. Lawlight with some smart plays. Making things tricky for the opponent and then making him overcommit to the defense. And now he's going to go tier 3. One blade master and one demolisher. <laughs> that is not a good late game army. 
Okay, he did, he did remake the altar in the back. The Shadow Hunter is coming from there. And there is another grunt, at least. The moon juice is pretty low. That could be a concern for Law Light later. And the Blade Master with a level 2 Windwalk has a lot of opportunity for scouting and harassing. The game's not over yet. But Law Light certainly does seem to have it. Windwalk walk runs out at the worst time. Now he's man up, but if he reveals himself, he could possibly die in the surround. Is kind of trying to bait it. I think Focus not going to give his opponent the opportunity here. Like this play by Soen. He's trying to go for the expansion. Creeping up a lot with Serpent Wards. Walleye still hanging back on this side of the map. There's going to be some time for this. But it's not solo experience for the Shadow Hunter either because the cap is too hard. Master with 16 armor. That's pretty good. But if he gets cycloned, it's not gonna be worth much. So the Manor found a heal potion right away. That was wonderful, wonderful for him. And now also the shop being crafted with the war going through all I he can also pick up the first invuln, which I imagine he wants to have in his inventory. Just the ball. And with that, he probably scouted this one right away, didn't he? Yep. Sees the red, sees the expansion. And knowing all the investment into the expansion, maybe Lolai could just push into the orc's main base. And expand behind that himself. And that's the training. Finishing right now. But we don't have too many talons yet. Just four out of the world here. And the other line setting up the expansion. That makes sense. Oh, if someone could read this and cancel it with a Blade Master solo, that would be so valuable. It's a hard read to make. And the next one reward and the next big item. Plus plus eight, not bad at all. Didn't go for an inbound before, by the way. Could do so now, though. The expansion is very well protected. Serpent wards, towers, burrows, demolisher. So, well, I'm just gonna neglect that one. The cool thing is, with the Hunter's build, well, I already has the Hunter's Hall, so now I can go for Wellspring upgrade, and soon also the Triple Jump. Well, I'm taking quite a bit of damage here from the creeps. There is the room of healing. There we go. Finds the bit of cunning, which is not the best. Yeah, it looks like Lolite has. Carry fire turned on the whole time during creeping, which that's a big waste of mana to be honest. Still no invuln for all. That's the thing that surprises me the most. The issue on this map also, late game, for the orc is that there's no berserkers. Normally, if you want to do late game fights against Night Elf, playing talents, you really want berserkers for the piercing damage, you also want walkers. So, Soen has neither walkers, nor berserkers, leading me to believe that he can't really fight. I think he has to play his own kind of game. 
is very hard, considering that Lolaid has both water worlds on the map. Item on the ground! Item on the ground! Oh my god, he left the red camp item on the ground. Oh. Oh, so in panicking. Hood of cutting again. <laughs> Double hood of cutting. Okay. Didn't realize he could use the dust and pick up the item. That. Oh, that, that stings. That's something where you just hate yourself for making that mistake. Alright. Um, seems like our Chinese friends are definitely having some issues with uh, capturing today. Capturing of the game. And we see the first Chimru's coming for Lawlines. This is Chimru's number 8 so far this series. Take to the skies. Oh! Talent's around? No way! Oh my god, the talent drops around. What? Forge the TP. Reminiscent of stone form. Gargoyle surrounds. Lawlight is definitely having fun today. That was pretty cool. First Jim Roos is ready. The Chimera is coming right away. Well, in fact, it's close to double level 5. Big Master is playing a whack-a-mole game, trying to take out the expansions while they're coming up. But when there's too many, you can't do that anymore. Look at the Archmage there. Look at the bonus stats on the Demon Archmage. He's got plus 16 Agi. And plus 13 Int. Too bad the Int doesn't do much for him. Dude, if this... Uh, double Hood of Cunning instead was Double Helm of Valor, this would be so crazy strong. While I'm noticing that he definitely needs a Blessing. I imagine he's going to start researching that in just a moment. Ah, uh, Cyclone for the expansions. Then how expensive is it going to be for the Earth? Well, he doesn't have that much damage. After the chimps fly in, now here comes the magic damage. Everything is Cyclone. Now the TP out by someone. And that was a pretty good attack. Lola, in fact, is only mining off one base at the moment. Yeah, Lola definitely needs Nature's Blessing. Bit of an oversight, not getting that before. You matter now, level 5. I wonder, should he go retrain into immolation? He's got so much mana. And just skip evasion, maybe? Level 3 mana burn, level 2 immolation. I feel like that would be better. The two watch awards. Are so good for Lolaid. He's got so much vision all the time. Lolaid, by the way, still doesn't have a single orb of venom, which is one of the weirdest things about this game. And there are plenty of weird things. <laughs> Bats, one, two, 
three, that's a kill. First chip goes down. This could be lots of experience for the ward. In the back, didn't get burned too much yet. We even have some walkers for some spirit link. Now we're getting entangled. Keeper as well, and snared, I mean. But it was a big mana burn. Lots of mana drain. Supply is dropping on both sides. All light missing damage again. Where are the orbs of venom on that? Doesn't have them. Keeper in trouble to DP sooner rather than later. No hex. Prevent that one. And that means all light might be losing. Yeah, will be losing the next expansion. So in, all of a sudden, perhaps in a winning position. Oh, but Lola is tipping over. Still no Nature's Blessing. How is there still no Nature's Blessing, dude? And how are there still no orbs? It does look like Lola is making a few unnecessary mistakes here. to level 6 and the demon hunter also getting closer but now the light mining from that gold mine down there again that's important he's got the supply lead how is there no nature's blessing i think he just forgot about it right he probably thinks he upgraded at some point wait he has level 2 thorns aura is that also a troll no i guess not now that those walkers trains are actually pretty bad. Still no bubble venom. Unbelievable. All right, having to spam these TPs like crazy. Thank you. Finally an orb. At long last. And supply has swung around again in Soen's favor. Oh, nice catch. Wisp, intercept. Nature's Blessing is finally coming. Thank the Lord. We have Ultra Vision, so Lawlight now doing this long nighttime, having vision advantage, even more vision advantage. Of course, he already has the wards. And we might be stabilizing on 3 base, 3 base here. Chims have no attack upgrades yet. Would love to see some of those as well. And this looks like a very even game all of a sudden. Seems like Corrosive Breath could also be a good upgrade. Corrosive of Breath indeed now coming in the third armor upgrade. Lawlight has tons of lumber. He's close to the expansion here already. Doesn't have to TP. Needs to repair though, but I guess he feels it might not be worth it. He gets the ensnare. Expansion is going down. Question is how expensive is it gonna be? Bats flying in. Didn't kill anything? Somehow, all chimps survived. Oh! No! The Serpent Ward got the kill! Lol. The Serpent Ward got the chim in the end. All I had could use some staffs. And so it is about to be up by a base here, it seems like, in the middle. Oh, 
家的部队正遭到攻击。Then for all eyes, that was still looking pretty scary. Keeper can open up the trees. Getting caught, kind of, but in a safe enough position, it seems like. Oh, and the corrosive breath is very effective against the towers. Shadana would love to be at level 5. Level 3 circling boards here could be so good. But he's still pretty far away. Because the Shadowhunter joined so late into this game, it goes all the way back to the early game, where the altar was destroyed. Threatening an attack, but this might just be a play to buy time because again, two more expansions are coming up for Lala and the Tree of Attorney actually moves north that exposes the tree as well. So, he's the chance. He's gonna strike against the natural. Easy kill here for him. He's got so many raiders. Bats coming in right away, but again, not the best connections. He goes down. Is there a TP out available for the orc? Doesn't seem like there is. But the serpent wards do. The serpent wards still doing good damage. Even now, very close to level six. But it can, of course, be canceled. Chim's all going down. Lola is losing a ton of supply. Repositioning on the talents, but they're getting caught as well halfway through. It looks like Lola at this point needs level six on the demoner. The Keeper about to drop, trying to give him an item, trying to pass something. The heal potion is there. The Keeper is still trapped. He might still be dead. He's almost level 6. Entangle trying to run, trying to get him out. He's level 6, but he's dead. Cancel right away. Oh my god. I think so. It has done it. He knows how to now. All by himself. He's almost, he's almost got the kill. Wait, mana burn? No way. What? Oh my god, he gets the kill. He gets level 6. No freaking way. That's so it has way more gold. Way more gold. We have the ult. Soin is trying to bait the ultimate. And then fall back. Lawlight at the moment. Hardly mining. So it's going to change in a second. So I have a big lead now. How is the keeper coming back? Tavern res or not? So in lots of gold. Law light, not so much. But about to have a ton of income if he's just given the time. Chims, oftentimes looking like a throw, honestly, in this matchup. I feel like just mass talons and maybe archers or something would be better. Chim's not doing it. Oh, we have a level 6 demon. Superman. We on the task. task. Expansion also goes down. Crazy damage from the level 3 Serpent Wars. The man of course is also looking very scary. Lots of damage from him. Tranquility. Let's cancel fast, of course. All I trying to chase for more kills. Serpent Wars, though. Serpent Wars are so hard to deal with. Towers coming up everywhere. What a weird game. So in though certainly seems to have a big lead. He's going up against two ultimates. But he's got lots of gold. He's got a big army. This game is still pretty hard to decipher though. And again, I think this game emulation would have been better than evasion. But of course then also you, you, you lose lots of tankiness. I mean, if the demon gets to level 10, that would be ideal. <laughs> All I had had a short period at least, where he was making a lot of gold. 
He's still mining off of three bases, but it seems like it's just a matter of time before one of them falls. Keeper is the valuable target. The vulnerable target, I should say. That's a fast TP force. With that TP gone, that means the expansion should also be going down. Bottom left. So we're now realizing this is an economy game. This game is about sniping bases. The Raiders here are proving to be indeed very effective. We haven't seen the ultimate yet. Ancient of the Still making more chims. That looks risky to me, man. Those level 3 serpent words are no joke. And again, it's still lots of raiders. Big mana burn. These mana burns are so, so valuable. Bear Adept Training is coming. If they against this many walkers, might not even be the best thing. Tinker third! This late into the game? Really? Yeah, tranquility doesn't last long. And the demonish just continuously ensnare all the time. Nice play with the Raiders. Really nice play. Let's go. Force as well. There's not too much disenchant mana anymore. So now Cyclone coming into play again. But we don't have too many Cyclones left at all. But here comes the new Chim Wave. Double Chims coming in. Demonish tries to get the burn off. And all over the ensnares, dude. Look at the ensnare timings on the Demon are absolutely wonderful. Keeper has to TP out, but lost a lot in the meantime. Tinker almost fell, barely survived. This is a big supply lead. Shut on our almost level 6 for the level 3 heal wave. This will be very good. I wonder how much gold is left. In the first expansion for Soen, it might not be that much gold left. It's been up for a long time. This game has been going on for 30 minutes. One thousand four hundred gold. That's around two minutes. A little bit more. Supply somehow even again, apparently. Bear master training coming as well. Still going for more chimps. Now we also got fairy dragons. So many different units here being made this game. And still no metamorphosis, by the way. Now I feel like... Well, I ideally should have had an earlier third hero, maybe, because this level one tinker doesn't seem to be doing too much. Blade about to hit seven, shadow about to hit six. Fortunately for Lolai, this blade isn't really that stacked, just two circlets and a small clause. When are we gonna see the ultimate? It might be now! Fairy Dragon is deployed. Very important position to fight. This is, of course, the expansion. The vital expansion for Soen. His first expansion is going to be falling soon. And at the moment, the Chim is doing good damage. But Surf Wars could change everything. The Nine is still holding on to the Metamorphosis. It also heals you for 500 HP, of course. Let's make use of that, maybe. Level 7 on the Demon. Now he's got level 3 Evasion. Perhaps he's too strong. Perhaps the Demon is too strong. So it had the lead for a while, but that lead seems to be gone. What a crazy wild army for Lolai. He's got the talents, chims, bears, and even some fairies in the mix. Triple hero as well. Tinker goes down, but he's only level one. He's gonna be back quite soon indeed. Tranquility does it to the keeper. He has a TP out. Bit of a waste on the metamorphosis. And the chim falls also. Late master level seven. The expansion though was destroyed. Damage from the chims was enough. Lawlight now with the supply lead. So in about to be mining out. 
I thought for a while there so and had it. But lol, I had very... He just attacked the keeper of a group. Bro. <laughs> He's attacking the keeper for shits and giggles. Lots of moonjus. Alright, easily healing here. Metamorphosis is now on cooldown for a long time, but it will come off cooldown again. We saw a tomb of retraining, by the way. Wait. Mirror image! Oh! Blade Master with level 3 mirror image. Let's go. He needs more mana, though. Absolutely terrifying Night Elf army. Plus 34 damage on the Demon Hunter level 7. The Raiders have to keep the Demon pinned. So far, they're doing a good job. Second Ward, lots of piercing damage to target down the Chimps. It's very hard to micro this fight perfectly on both sides. The Raiders taking plenty of damage. Plenty of damage. Chimera's far from all taken out. Even the Thorns is doing a decent return damage. Here. Oh, wait, it's about to jump. It looks like Lolite's done it. Mirror image again. It is a lot of distraction. But he knows which one is the real Shadow Hunter. It was that one and was about to fall. And Lolite gets the W here. Turtle Rock, oftentimes a map for crazy games. And here we saw that as well. Lolite, great showing today. That map almost seemed to slip, have slipped away from him. If he loses one more expansion earlier, he probably loses that game. But he holds on. Crazy strong army. Crazy strong heroes in the end. We saw the Metamorph and the Tranquility. And we see Lawlight making it through in first place out of the group. Lawlight beats Hawk and beats Soen and makes it into the top eight already. Now he's going to have... Quite some time to rest to get ready for the top 8, but we know he's our first player to be qualified. And that will bring us to our next game coming up in a bit. Lin versus Hawk. This looks like a big outmatch on paper. This is by no means going to be easy for Hawk if Lin plays close to his best. Lin is insane in the Orc versus Human matchup. By far the best in the world. By far the best there's ever been. Probably. And Hawk will have to come prepared. Maybe even have something cheeky in store. Because in a normal game, a win might not even be doable. But we should not underestimate him too much. Hawk has been good for some surprises in the past. We'll see if that is to be or not. We're going to go into a break right now. And when we come back, it's time for Lin versus Hawk, the first elimination of the day.